Well, hello, my hoosters. I am back today. And today, I'm so glad y'all came back to see me. I missed y'all. I hope y'all miss me too. Um, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, all my new hoosters that's coming in, hit that, um, that subscribe button. And of course, you got to hit that bell, ding dong, ding 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 dong, and also comment, share, and like. Now tonight we're having some um spicy noodles. Look at that, y'all! It's hot too. And we're gonna have a ham sandwich with spicy jalapeno mustard. And of course, we cannot do any meals without our cocktails because this is Cocktails and Convo. Welcome aboard. Uh, let's say prayers. So we're going to toast and we're going to start eating. Thank you, Father God, for this food I'm about to eat. May it bring nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. And this toast is once again for my hoodsters. Welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Now, come on in. The door is open. Sit down. Bring your favorite beverage, whether it's a cocktail, Kool-Aid, or water. Bring your snacks, your food. Let's sit down, and we're going to talk. Now, you, well, I guess I better clink, clink, clink. Yes. Ah, oh, this is good. Okay, don't forget, y'all. Can y'all send me some recipes uh, for some vodka fruited, fruited drinks? Because I'm always having the same you know, uh, vodka, cranberry, and and and, and um, grapefruit juice with this line. So send me some so I can try it out and shout y'all out so I can drink it with y'all next time at dinner time. So tonight we're gonna, you know, last night I left off with uh, my uh, life, my story at the bus stop uh, with all those tears, you know, crying because my mother. Um, you know, put me out the second time for nothing. So today I'm just going to change the vibe just a little bit because me and my good friend, we always talk about relationships in today's time. And then I did have a TV show on the digital channels here in Texas and my show was called Living Single, Living Safe. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to uh, talk about some of that t uh, today. Oh, y'all. Mm. No. Y'all know I have, I had pasta last night, didn't I? So, dating today, I'm going to talk about a bit about my dating. I met two men off of Facebook. One, we kind of courted. One, we are still uh, talking or chatting or whatever you want to call it today. Uh, one, I met at a, a store on my way to Dallas. And I'm going to just stop at them three. I think three is enough, right? Oh, but then I, I can also bring up two of my past relationships as well. But we're going to leave them back there in the past where they belong. So, dating today. Let me tell you what I think about it. And I keep cutting my head off, don't I? Well, anyway, dating today. Mm, these noodles everywhere. <laughs> they, oh. That really is spicy too. And they hot. And so I'm gonna tell you about it. I think today you meet, you smile, <laughs> you giggle. Oh, hey, y'all. You exchange numbers and you say, thank you so much. So, when should I expect your call? Or do I have to wait 24 hours before I call you? What, what, is, what are the rules? So, you know, you call the next day, you text, well, you know what? You don't even get to call the next day. You get a freaking text. For me, texting is not conversation for me. So, okay. Honey, huh? you get that call, you're so happy, and you're smiling. Like you in your dentist's office, like, <laughs> girl, he on the phone. Uh -oh. You chit chat with these men. They offer you out for a brunch or a lunch, sometimes even dinner. I, I, on my first date, 
I try ne never to go at night. I think for my own safety reasons. And so I only go on brunch and lunch, period. So you go on the first date and you, you, you do feel each other. You like each other. You're flirting with each other. You, 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 you seem like you have these endless, endless conversations. So he take you home. Then he want to get all up on you. It's like, dude, you only paid $25. You, you know, what about that kiss on the forehead? You remember back in the day when we truly courted? When your mama say, you, your mama, your daddy, and your daddy, or your mama, or your daddy say, you better have my daughter back in here uh, by 10 o'clock. So, you know, you... The little boy bring you back home. He walk into your porch. You know, he kiss you on that jaw. You get that jaw like, I had a good night. Thank you. So you, I'll see you at school tomorrow. Today, let me tell you what I think. Today. The dating is so different. Uh, I haven't even touched my sandwich. Today you go out. You have three conversations. And I'd be damned if that next conversation ain't about sex. Dude, you don't know if I slept with somebody this morning. You don't know if I... Mm, 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 this afternoon. And you want to do what? Why? That's what it is. Sex comes up so fast. So fast now. And it's not enough. We have to contend with all these diseases out here. I don't know. Today, everybody's sleeping with everybody today. My teeth cut my head off. What's the problem? Uh oh, not a sticks in my way. <laughs> but today, everybody dating everybody. You don't know who's sleeping with who, who doing who, who's sucking who, who's screwing who. You just don't know that today. So. Comment below what, what you have been dealing with in new relationships. I've even met a couple of men at the cigar lounge where I, 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 I frequent a cigar lounge, the cigar lounge here where I live. Very nice guys. And it's so, you know what the joy about meeting uh, today, sometimes, uh, you meet somebody and y'all have that commonality. Yeah, I like to do cigars. You don't mind having a cocktail. You dress very well. And you smell good. But you've got that ragged ass tooth right here. <laughs> like, now you know, that's the first thing we're going to look at. What's the first thing you look at when you meet a man? Let me tell you what I see. Your teeth is first and foremost because... If you got them raggedy ass teeth in your mouth and you got some that's trying to be gold that's not real gold. <laughs> you got some turning brown and it ain't like you got nothing stuck in it and you want me to stick my tongue in your mouth with that nasty stuff? No. I'll, I'll Hollywood kiss your ass all day because I can do that very well. I will Hollywood kiss your ass but I ain't no way I'm going to transfer a slava and you got them raggedy ass teeth in your mouth. The next thing I look at them shoes. Now, I love a nice pair of Italian leather shoes on a man. Oh my God. Uh, and then I love a, a kind of man that got that rough edge. Now I like a suited man. I love a suited man. Very e educated man. Because I have a conversation from here to, to Zululu. From A to Z and more. If it was any more alphabets. I need him to keep me. You know, Don't let me get bored while we're talking. Don't let me hear that pen drop while we're talking either. So look here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's hot. Mm, mm. Woo. I look at them shoes. They can't be all ran over. But I like somebody in some good old combat boots too. And then let me tell you what else I look at. But not everybody have one. I look at that print in the front. <laughs> You know, because sometimes they wear it up, sometimes they wear it down, 
And sometimes them suckers tuck it away and you never see it. And before you know it, they done pulled out something look like a donkey. <laughs> so that don't 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 let don't let the not don't let the front end if you don't see it fool you. True enough. I yeah. Mm -hmm. I've experienced that. Anyway. I was married once. I divorced in 2006. I never wanted to marry again. I didn't have the zeal for it anymore. I did not date for seven years after I divorced because I felt that this is now time for me to heal from that broken marriage and to get to know me because I was married for six years and I needed to get back to know who I was because the, the curse word that I'm about to tell y'all that we really must do in a marriage is submit. Submit. I know that sounds like really bad, don't it? But we're supposed to do that. And I did it. I followed my husband. I actually became the shadow of my husband. So I needed to find myself. Oh. Mm. Y'all. You know, oh, I always do it. This is some leftover um, Thanksgiving ham on this brioche bread. And I put some, uh, I toasted it with some butter. And I put some uh, jalapeno mustard. That is so good. Can y'all see it up close? Now take a bite. Look at all that. Ooh, look at all that mustard, y'all. Ooh, ain't it good? Because I'm sure I've been eating noodles for three days. So y'all don't want none of these noodles, huh? Okay, good. Because I don't think I want them all either. Okay, so I didn't date for... Seven years. I was celibate. I didn't kiss no man. I didn't hold no man hand. I didn't even do the nasty for seven whole years. But you know what they say? And this is a true statement. Out of sight, out of mind. Because when you're starting to focus, you focus on other things. So, I had told myself, um, I'm in here for two years. I actually did a paint party, y'all, in my big old house. I painted every room a different color because that was what my healing thing was. And I told myself I was going to give myself um, two years to heal. But I didn't know beyond me what God had in plan. You know, we always make our plans, you know, but, the, but, but we have a God that said, it ain't about you, honey. So he took me through seven years. But, but in those seven years, he changed me. And that's going to come, I'm going to tell y'all this story in, uh, when I get back to my life, my story. So anyway, I sold our house and I moved back to Houston and, you know, me and a plentiful, I was living in the country, you know, my, my next door neighbor was a horse and behind me, it was some damn cattle and across from me, we had some goats. So, well, no men. <laughs> so look at Oh, uh -uh. I met this man at the mall and he was so easy to look at. I hadn't seen a man look that good in so long. I thought he was a nice tall glass of chocolate milk on ice. I just wanted to drink his ass. Mm, I stopped him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I stopped him just to say, hi. I just want to let you know you are so handsome. Me and that man end up on the side of that wall, walking into the mall on the side of that wall before you get in that main door for one hour. He must have been intrigued with me too. <laughs> we had a little something, something. You know how you have that, uh, what you call it, that immediate, uh, that immediate attraction. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you have that immediate attraction to make your panties want to come off. Yeah, I wanted my panties to come off that day because I hadn't seen a man like that in so doggone long. And I hadn't had sex in so doggone long. I was like, take me right now. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. But no. So we exchanged numbers. And he was one of those big tycoon R people that traveled a lot. 
And of course, uh, we really was heavy. We had conversations on top of conversations on top of conversations. We had got so comfortable with each other on his days out of town. We used to have phone sex, right? And before we even had the good, good, good sex, right? So, mm, y'all know I got to keep this camera time really low. So, We finally had made it to six months, y'all. Because, you know, I, had, I hadn't had sex in so long. Six months wasn't going to hurt me. I went six whole months for real. Honey, it was time to do the nasty. I just wanted to cry. I know I hadn't seen a penis in so long, but I know what they supposed to look like. And, you know, I know I, know I like my size. Sometimes size does matter. Not all the time. I was so disappointed, y'all. I already hadn't had sex in seven years. And the minute I do, I'm thinking, mm-mm, this ain't for me. So let me tell y'all what he did. He, uh, mm. I was a host of eight-minute speed dating back then as well when I moved back. I hosted eight-minute speed dating where you get eight dates for eight minutes. So I used to have to market a lot. So I market everywhere. But I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. You know, when you ain't got no good penis, ain't no sense of you fooling these men. Mm -hmm. Ain't no sense of you acting like it was good. Because when you act like it's good, then they don't go away. I don't need you hovering around me. So, one day I got this phone call. One Friday night, I got this phone call. And the phone call said, Mm. Y'all, this is a good sandwich, and I don't eat bread that much. But when I get in my taste for some bread, I can put it away. I'm trying to see this time, y'all. I'm using a different video camera. I can't see. And I got glasses on. Well, I'll just have to cut it if it's too long. I, I mean, I don't know how, but I'll, I'll try. I think it's 17. I think it's 17 minutes, y'all. I'm going to go to 24. Remember that song? Um, he said, we need to talk. I said, uh, about what, if I may ask? He said, I have pictures. <laughs> On the phone, I said, you got pictures of what? He said, are you and these men? But, you know, he didn't use men. This fool ain't had number one piece of pussy. Ooh. He didn't have but one piece of good good from me. One. Where my finger at? Can y'all see, yeah, yeah, see my? One. Piece of good good. This fool then went out and hired a private investigator. You saw right here a lot of pictures of me working, marketing. Trying to get people to sign up for my events. That's what the hell you get. I told him. If I see you anywhere around my building. I'm going to have them arrest you for trespassing. Because who the hell hires a private investigator. After one piece of good good. And you were no good. <laughs> you lost your dog on mine. Yeah, I went back into celibacy. So we're gonna speed up to the day. You can you can you can get some good good for you even get the last name. For me, I need to know a lot. I need to know, I need to be attracted to you, number one. I, you got to be a kisser because in that kiss, if you mm, Number one, if I'm attracted to you, when it gets time to the kiss, you know, everything starts in that kiss, baby. Everything starts in that kiss. It's going to make it or it's going to break it. You, you, you know, if that kiss make you want to take your panties off, nine times out of ten, maybe eight, it ain't going to go that big shit. Maybe seven. Seven times out of ten, he can do the nasty real good, right?
One thing I did learn, even I see it today, when I did 8 Minute Speed Dating, there's three things that can happen. So pay attention, y'all, when it comes to dating. You can meet somebody, and it's that, that, that instant attraction. It's like, God damn. Ooh, shoot. I want me some of that. You know, it's like, ooh, good Lord, this man made me want to take my panties off. Do I do it here or do I wait? That's number one. That instant attraction. And I don't think it lasts very long either. And then you have the second one that says, oh, I, I can listen to you more and more because she's, you know, and in the mind, it's like, oh, she's good wife material. Or in her mind, it's like, oh, he's good husband material. So you you want you want this to go on. You don't want it to end because you, you see some promise. You want to stick with those too. That's the one you want to stick with the most. Not the, not the, not the, Instant attraction because instant attraction is like instant. It starts off so good and fast and fast and furious. And then that shit in like a cake that didn't fail because you stumped on the floor and took it out the oven. That's how fast it can it deflates. And the third one, y'all, y'all ready for the third? You meet that sucker. Or he meets you and you say, oh hell no. Nah. You ain't for do that. <laughs> oh well. That's dating to me today. Today, men and women, everybody wanna treat you like you are an option. Like when I find out that you that like okay, like okay, let's okay, I'll say this. Let's just say I text him on a Tuesday. And I say, good morning. How are you? How was your day? And he texts back on Friday and say, great. I'm an option. Because there are so many options out there on both sides. You don't have to go into somebody, whether you like them or not, and make no commitment or, you know, no promise to say this or that. When you try to put me in an option category, guess what the hell I'm going to do? I'm going to opt out. You don't get to treat me as an option. No, because I think and people want to play these mind games today. If you like me and not like you, let's do this shit. Let's 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 try to like each other as long as it lasts. But all this mind game plan because you got so many options out here, and you know, you know, you got the best conversation with me. You know, if you got the good goods, and then when I say, "Oh hell no." And then two weeks later, you coming back and you saying, I sure do miss you, sunshine. Well, guess what? I'm going to rain on your head. Mm. Forget the parade. I'm going to rain on your head. I ain't no coming back, fool. Because when you had me, you knew you had a good thing. But you went over there because that grass was spray painted green. And you was too fool to understand that when it rained a few times, that shit turning back brown. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who I'm talking to? Mm. Let me get these noodles out of my mouth. Who I'm talking to? Holler back at your hood, girl. Holler back. Mm -hmm. That's what it is today. But I'm not going to give up. You know, I don't, I do not want, I don't want to die alone. I'm over in my 50s over there. Mm hmm I don't want to die alone. I do want to. Uh, what is? You see, I'm getting tongue tied. Do, uh, hmm. Are they boyfriends? Are they my boo? Are they my man? Or are they my boo thing? My best friend? What title are we using today, y'all? Hell, I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm just going to encourage all of you guys, be careful out there. There is a lot of diseases out there. Some are curable and some you're going to die from. <laughs> Ain't no ends, ifs, and buts about it. So please be careful out there. I'm trying to see the sign. Mm, that's it. 20 more, 24 minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Oh, like, oh, goodness. I can't have, oh. Okay, look here. 
I want to thank y'all for coming back. I like this conversation. We got to do this conversation again. Comment below on what experience new that y'all had when y'all came to meeting new booze or new bows or new friends or new whatever y'all call them. I want to read it. I want to know. I want to know. And then give some ideas on what we as women can do um, to help them change their mind or help them in a Men are natural hunters. Don't forget that. Men seek their prey. And when they look at something and it it it, it looks good to them, they 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 do what that that uh lion does. He he keep his eye, he, he keep his eye, he keep his eye on his prey. And 70% of the time he ain't going he ain't going to uh get it, but he he focus. And he gonna run after it, and he gonna run after it, and he gonna run after it. If that if that man ain't running after you, <laughs> you better walk away from that. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I tell you to run. You know, like Forrest said, run, Forrest, run. You better run your ass away from him because if he ain't chasing you and you ain't his prey, he gonna use you. Don't let him do that. Anyway, y'all, we 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 have to discuss this some more. I'm getting a little excited. Yeah, th this is good. So look here, for those of you who came back, I'm going to say thank you again. Thank you so much, my husters. All my newcomers, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, 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 dong. I can't see y'all. And of course, I need you to com uh, commit, I mean, comment, commit. I'm talking, them relationships got me twisted. Comment, share, and like. And until tomorrow... I will see you again. Don't forget, bring your favorite beverage, your favorite food, and we will sit here and we will talk it out, talk about it, and talk it through right here with that Hood Girl 2 with cocktails and combo. Good night.